Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you up with hope. Today we're going to have a chat, not an actual channel. And it's because I want to talk to you guys about the fact that there have been a lot of recent celebrities that have transitioned into the afterlife. And it seems like some of them are connected to old Hollywood. If you look back on some of the initial videos here at Above Life Channel, you'll know that I have a love for old Hollywood. And I don't know a lot about it, like in my human life, but I know that I'm drawn to it. Some of my favorites, of course, would be amongst Marilyn Monroe, for example. And so you can check out those videos if you're interested in doing that on the playlist. So recently, just very recently, we had a couple of an actor and a couple of actresses and performers and such transition into the afterlife. And from this era, so Doris Day and um, Lena Horn, and there's another one. A guy, he was on the Carol Burnett show. Please don't scream at the video. I can't think of his name right now off the top of my head. I'm so sorry, put it in the comments. Oh, let's give him love. I can see his little face, but I can't. Oh, such a great character actor, amazing character actor. I should know his name. If I had my computer up, I would just look it up and tell you. Oh, sorry. Um, but then prior to that too, in the last few months, we've had others leave the planet too. So especially the last couple days, like, it seems like there's a new person each time I'm actually online and which isn't very much. So it's not like there's a hundred, but I want to talk about that with you because it, it's important, I think, to understand why, why does that happen? So right now I'm recording this video in the springtime and there's, it's seasons, you know, like the song says there, there is a time and, and the, as the seasons change and things turn, the wheel of life turns as well. And so, there is something to be said about the energy of the seasons and the change of seasons. So at the ending of a year and the beginning of a year, like that, when there's like a doorway and opening, it's a seasonal kind of a thing or a calendar year kind of a thing. The same goes with springtime. There is an opportunity for new possibilities and some take upon themselves as this an opportunity for a time to transition, to move over into the afterlife fully. And I gotta say, I'm so happy that it's by age and not by um, tragedy or, or harmful event or that kind of a thing. So that's a positive thing. I mean, Doris Day was, I think, like 97 years old. And so then another question that will pop up, which some of you have already asked, is when am I gonna channel these people then? Am I gonna channel them right away? No, I don't usually like to do that. I like to give it some time. And unless they like come in and like, I'm really open and connected and, and it makes sense to channel them at the time. Otherwise, I just, I wait and let the fan base kind of absorb the grief and celebrate their life. And then over time, when it feels, it feels in alignment for me, that's when I connect. I only channel when I feel connected to channel, not because it's the thing to do right now or it's the time to do it right now. I, I really try to honor the process. So that brings us to the topic of energy and that's kind of why also, that some of these celebrities have chosen to leave the planet at this time. So we talked a little bit about seasons or seasonally, and springtime is a time for new beginnings, new opportunities. So it's a tra natural transition time. Things are changing, new life is beginning, and that's what the afterlife is, is new life, eternal life. As our spirit, our soul just releases the body, that's it, that's all that happens, right? And so also, we, I mentioned just briefly, calendar, can also be a, a signal or a, a cycle time to be able to change. So near a holiday or during the ending or the beginning of a year, that kind of a thing. And so also then the energy. So the energy can be like, if you follow astrology at all, I'm not an astrologer. I don't do astrology or anything like that. But there is a lot to be said about the cosmos and the universe and alignment of energy and the magnetism of life and the flow of things and the way that we are all interconnected. Now there's a lot of conversation we can have around energy, energy grids, portals, openings for transition points and all of this. And yet it all boils down to energy. And there is a collective understanding right now. There's a lot going on in the world. There's a lot of shedding, clearing and releasing. Let's be clear. There's a lot of shedding, clearing, and releasing. And that looks like anger. It looks like moodiness. It looks like p 
people who are very passionate and fighting against something or someone, a cause, an energy. It's an energy that calls you into a, almost like a compression energy that isn't about resistance, it's about compression, it's about coming inside really deep. And oftentimes that will happen right before because you hang on so tight to your beliefs or so tight to some kind of emotion or pain or common collective energy that you can only hold on to it for so long and then uh, it just pops and it releases. And that releasement is a freedom and that energy can be what fosters and supports the releasement of the, the spirit from the human body. So luckily, the like I said, I really it's nice to channel people that actually die of old age. I mean, and let's be honest, here at Above Live Channel, that doesn't happen very often. I mean, there's a lot of, unfortunately, Hollywood and being in the public eye really takes a toll on people and their bodies and disease and illness and addictions and mental health concerns and just so much, there's so much intensity for them. So it's kind of nice to have somebody die of like natural causes, you know? It feels more peaceful, doesn't it? So the energy has been for the month of April and the, the whole month of April. Actually, it, if I had to pinpoint, I'd say probably mid-March 14th or 15th, 13th, 14th or 15th of March into April until like the 27th or 8th. Very like <sighs> energy that was like, sometimes it would be really angry and then when it wasn't angry, it was sad. There was no like mellowness. There was either I'm just going to disconnect, I'm going to numb, I'm going to ignore, I'm going to eat cookies and donuts and ice cream, or I'm going to have a drink to relax myself, or I'm going to go shopping, I'm going to do something totally different and to just ignore reality because there's too much noise, there's too much energy in my face, there's too much intensity coming at me that it forces me into an energy of of confrontation and when when there's an energy of confrontation there's like this restriction or getting really tight inside that happens and even if you're fighting outside you you just get instantly get smaller with the confrontational energy and the challenging challenging energy and that gets so old that there's just this opportunity for releasement so for those people who are in human bodies that are able to release that are at a point a stage in their soul path where it's time for them to release or, an, or they have an exit point or an opportunity to leave the plane, they will. And like I said, just natural causes, it's not just by their own hands or by addiction, but by natural causes, it, it happens, it just happens, it happens that way. So why old Hollywood? Well, I chatted with Marilyn Monroe and Greta Garbo this morning in two different venues on two different forums. One in a channel actually, at Above Life Channel, and one just myself. And I had a meditation I did and Marilyn popped in. I love Marilyn. We are so tight. Like I'm so connected to our call. Mayor, I'm like, come on, Mayor. I'm like, why are you here? It's great to see you. But I'm like, what are you doing here? She's like, oh, Bridget, because you just need to add some fun into your life. You just need to add some fun into your life. Things are just getting way too serious, way too serious. It's just getting way too much, way too much. So she's like, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? <laughs> she asks. She's so sweet. She like redirects. Like, what's the purpose? Don't let other people choose your path. You choose your path. Don't let somebody get a rise out of you or poke at you and try to create a confrontation or conflicting energy with you where you get restricted and then have to release somehow or try to use like distraction or avoidance or whatever. Um, take your power back in a way that's impositive, inspiring, and peaceful. And so right now the energy has been... I really like to use an F word up right now. <laughs> but that doesn't mean you have to be. It doesn't mean that you're a victim of energy and oh, you just can't do anything because the energy is bad. No, we just learn how to flow and grow in this state. We've asked for experience and through our expression and our connection, we we get that, we get it. And sometimes it's high highs and sometimes it's low lows. And what we're really striving for is a kind of a beautiful balancing of energy. And so your alignment is different all the time. So there has been an opening of opportunity. There's been a, we're shaking everybody up until you just say, fine, I give up, I'm done with this. And give up in a good way, like stop fighting and release. Release your own resistance, release the control that other people have over you, whether it be people in the public eye, people in politics, 
um, people in, even in your life, you know, relationships that you have where the, the balance of power is so messed up. The give and receive is not in a balancing alignment where it's just toxic to you and it's making you just feel like, I'm just done, I'm just done. You can feel that way and not actually leave your body, not, not exit not leave the human experience. You don't have to give up on the human experience, but you can give up on the struggle, give up on the pressure and release that control over your energy being and then make your own choices in positive energy flow and an alignment state. So yeah, so there have been some transition points recently and some of it is just simply due to age. You know, our linear time, our bodies, our calendar years, it, it takes a toll. It takes a toll. When I chatted with Greta Garbo today, um, she talked about that, about age and youthfulness. And back in those days, like the 1940s and 1950s and even 1960s, you'd be like, like 35 was like old, like old for actresses. I'm like, what? 35 old? I can't even imagine that. And yet it does happen even today now, right? And there's a lot of pressure to fit in, to be useful, to look good. And it's, it's just, there's a lot of pressure. There's a lot of pressure. And so that in one way is how we can relate to the Hollywood types, how we can relate to the celebrities as well, because we have pressure in our own lives and it's, di it's different. Yeah, it looks different, but it feels the same. It feels similar. There still is that same levity, that same crunchy, like stressful energy. We just want to be out, be out, be done with it kind of a thing. And you can choose to be done with it, to release, to let go in ways that are positive, helpful, and hopeful for you. Don't let other people make decisions for your life, your life. Don't, don't do it. Like, um, so for me personally, as Bridget, I'm actually a real person. My name is Bridget. And I like to write that sometimes in the comments when people say, she said this, or when she said that, or she does this or whatever. I'm like, she has a name. My name is Bridget. Hi. And I read the comments. Isn't that cool? Like I try to read most of them. I don't read every single one, but I get to as many as I can. It might take me an extra week, but I could, I do it. And so I'm like, she has a name. My name is Bridget. <laughs> and like, I'm a regular person just like you. But one of the things that I've learned is through the comment sections of YouTube, it was really tough at first to have the comments there. And I was like, I just didn't even want comments at all because I didn't want to, I didn't want to, um, didn't hear all the negative stuff people would say. And then I started to realize after a couple of months of the comments, the commentary, that there's only like 10% of the comments that are crappy anyway. Most of them are totally fine, interesting, curious, thought-provoking, value-added, and fabulous. But those 10% really get you. And I'm like, why am I giving 10% of people the power? And why would some comment that someone would make about me and my work here at Above Life Channel, or me personally too. It's weird, people leave like personal comments and they have nothing else to say, I guess. Um, it's like, why would I let somebody else influence my choices? And they're strangers, like people who are strangers that are not invested in the channel, that don't watch all the time, that aren't making comments consistently, that aren't liking the videos consistently. consistently. They don't have the right. They haven't earned the right to bother me. <laughs> You know, they haven't. And so I've learned that though after a couple of months of being on YouTube. And so it's the same thing for you guys. Don't let strangers or people that think they know you better than you know yourself make decisions energetically for you. Like you make them for yourself. That's how it works. That's what empowerment is. That's what energy is. All right, so. I hope that answers a few of that because there's been some comments about that. Well, why have people all of a sudden a bunch of a bunch of people transition in the afterlife and they're kind of connected to old Hollywood. And why is that? And what's going on? And, and do people die in threes? What's with the three? Well, three in numerology is actually an ascended mastery number. It goes back to the olden days of the father, son, Holy Spirit, or mother, maiden, matriarch. But when I see three, it's the image of truth. What is true? If something shows up to you more than a few times, at least three times, you cannot ignore it. Like the universe is trying to get your attention. They're saying, hello, hello, pay attention, pay attention. So three is a pay attention. And I feel like it's this opportunity for me to come here and talk to you, chat with you in this video about your power energetically and what you can do, what you can do. You're not a victim. You're not susceptible to energy. Oh, it's so bad, oh, it's so hard. I just can't do anything. 
I mean, that's a choice. You can choose to do that. But recognizing it, you know, and then get out your surfboard and try to surf the waves. That's what I've been trying to do the last few months, the last month and a half. And now I'm finally out of that. I can feel that the energy has shifted and it feels really good a lot, a lot better than it has. So why don't you take a moment, go ahead and add in the comments below uh, if you've been watching the news at all or if you've seen some of the actresses or actors, the famous people that have died recently, write your favorite. If you know, if one of them you're like, oh yeah, so-and-so, I heard of so-and-so, you can write their, your favorite down there. Just give them some love in the afterlife from the human side of things. And then also write, have you felt the energy stuff like too? Like, um, the 12th, 13th, 14th of March into April. Have you felt that? And is it starting to shift now for you? As I'm recording this video in May of 2019, has it started to kind of shift for you? How are you feeling it? It's a good idea to share that because then you get witness, like other people can relate to you, they can observe you. And let's be clear, energy affects us and influences our lives in lots of different ways ways it can affect our moods our attitudes it can affect our physical body health our energy levels can be lower or higher and for some it can be a high time and others it can be a low time because why why is that because there's a balancing factor that happens we are all connected and it's that teeter-totter or that seesaw trying to find a balance so some will be high and some will be low and there'll be a constant state of gentle motion so that we are all because we are all really seeking alignment come into alignment with ourselves our, as we are as spirits living in a human body expression. So this is Bridget. Thank you so much for watching this chatting video. I appreciate it. I thank you so much for being here. Remember the purpose has been, as always, to inspire your spirit, to fill you up with hope because this, this is your life. Don't let anybody else tell you how to live it because this is your life. So you live it. Just live it. Thanks for watching.